Hi, uh, welcome to House of Stars Powwow. I know that I mentioned that I was going to do this in um, a Google Plus meetup, but due to technical difficulties, I figured that I would actually do a video. Um, that way you can uh, have an understanding of the House of Stars Power and what we do. So we actually started this last year, which was January of 2014, where we gathered as a group in the House of Stars group. Um, for those of you that haven't joined the group, it's www.facebook uh, forward slash House of Stars, which House of Stars is spelled H-O-U-S-E-O-F-S-T-A-R-R-E-S. Uh, where we actually go over our three, six, and nines, and at that time that we discuss different tips that we use for the new year to manifest what we desire. Um, so I have a number of things that I actually want to touch base on that actually really work well for manifestation. This year is a year of abundance. If you take 2015 and actually add that number together to make it a singular number, and it comes to eight, which eight is a number of money, manifestation, um, the dreams that you've had from the years before that you decide to actually manifest in this year will be more um, prevalent and actually, um, I guess, come true in this year, so to speak. So we're going to obviously talk about the number eight. As you can see, um, at this time, I'm not going to be taking any questions, of course, considering that this is just a video and this is a raw video. So if I make any mistakes at all, like, please forgive me because it's not like I'm going to edit any of this. It's just like raw footage of what was expected of the House of Stars hangout. Um, so let's start off with talking about the number eight. As you notice, the figure eight. It goes in a continuous motion. It's an emotion out of all the numbers, even if you were to actually go through all the numbers from, uh, aside from zero, uh, from zero to 10, it's a continuous motion, which means that when a number figure eight talks about, regardless of what the ups and downs, you are maintaining a balance, okay? Because as we know, if there's no downs, there's no way that we can actually fully understand the ups, right? That's life in general, the yin and the yang. Um, so the figure number eight, and that's why this number actually symbolizes money. Uh, due to the fact that as soon, like when you lose money, so if we're going to do the figure eight, lose money, you continue to gain money and make your way around. For what you spend, it will return. For what you spend, or you will return. Um, so what I've been doing when it comes to my money lately, um, I have put out that manifestation in my mind that for everything that I spend, I will make it back. For everything that I spend, I will make it back. Now, a lot of people um, look at money and the things that they make back due to their paycheck, what they get on a weekly basis, or what they can chalk up to, I guess, a figurative form of what they're gonna make. Which that's not necessarily true. Um, money could come in different ways. See, I have a friend and I was talking to her about this um, sometime last week when it comes to money. And I would give her readings and I'll let her know that money's coming to her. Now, when it came to her receiving the actual advice, she was more or less of a person that was that would chalk it up to where she knew the money would be coming from. Where I had to tell her that money does not flow that way. It all flows on opportunity. As long as you manifest and think that this will come to you, it doesn't matter what form it comes to you, but whatever it is that you desire will be yours. Um, about a week later, I believe she was a little bit short on her rent and she needed $200. And she asked me, you know, Star, am I going to be able to make the $200 for my rent? And the first thing I picked up from my guides was she will be able to make the money, um, but it will come in a way that she's not, didn't think it was going to come, but the money will be there. So I spoke to her. Now we're on Tuesday. I talked to her on Wednesday. No, not Wednesday. <laughs> we're on Tuesday. I talked to her on Sunday. And she must have went by a random neighbor's house and was like, you know, just not like she was asking for the money. She was just talking about her financial situation, just talking about life in general. And 
this person that happens to be in a vulnerable situation but has an extensive amount of money that really he doesn't have much people to give it to felt that compelled through her story to actually lend her the money for her rent and she ended up getting it and she ended up getting the $200 that she wanted and she called me right away and she's like oh my god I never expected that I was gonna actually get that money like I was was uncut like I didn't I didn't know like I was thinking I'm gonna have to do this or that to get it but I didn't think I was gonna actually get the money that I needed and I said that's so, that's the art of manifestation it doesn't matter or what form that it comes to it may not even be fucking realistic you never know what you're gonna do from day to day I even as I'm a psychic I'm a psychic myself and I could tell you things that may happen in your life within the next two weeks but doesn't necessarily mean I have the inside information for your day to day like I'm not God so with that being said I feel people shouldn't block their manifestation they should allow anything that they desire to come to them without interruption so just sending it out to the universe and through sending that to the universe you will get that okay so this is a number of things that of course we are human we may have little doubting thoughts so we feel like we need to do a little thing in practice like if it happens to be like in order for me to make sure I have a thousand dollars I'll put twenty dollars in my account every single day um, until the end of the month I don't even know if the math is right but hey like at the end of the day that could be something that you do in order to get the money that you need right um, but here's some energy things that you can use now I, like I said these are things that work for me these are things that I've tried these are things that work for everybody else that were referred to me and I've tried and it worked for myself so at the end of the day I'm not gonna tell you things that may not work for you these are just a little bit of suggestions that you can use as you know as people sometimes do like tangible things in order to manifest the things that we desire so here's um one thing that we're gonna start off with which is Bernal Beats now Bernal Beats um it's HZ and I don't know the abbreviation for it if anyone knows you can just put it down on the comment box and let me know exactly what HZ means I'll google it after but right now I don't have access to google so like I'll just tell you what it is um H said which in layman terms it it, it measures the frequency it's, it's a measurement of frequency that is used when it comes to sound in order to send sound waves to the brain so as you know or I'm not sure that as you know but a lot of people or some people may know that the different areas of the brain uh actually symbolize a strong point when it comes to spirituality and connecting to your chakras um so there's some the brain frequencies that are sent through this sound um and when it comes to binaural beats what i love about binaural beats and i actually just find them easily accessible through youtube is that for every sound or any sound wave is associated with a certain situation so there is binaural beats for happiness, there's binaural beats for money, there's binaural beats for weight loss, there's binaural beats for a number of different things that you can actually find online. So um, I suggest that you guys look into it. I will put it in the comment box on each topic that I talk about here where you can look for, I believe in the House of Stars Powwow uh, event page, I actually put up binaural beats for a, a special link for money. Because for me, money is the theme of this year for me. I'm, I want money. I want more money. <laughs> um, so that's one other thing that you can use, which is Bernal Beats. I'll describe some or put some uh, links below of things that I feel will be sufficient for a lot of people. I feel as clients that I have usually come to me for money or love. Um, so I probably put things that are relative towards money and love. Um in the links below um so next thing is oils now i've always been a person for natural things i understand depending on what you're into there is botanicas or healing stores that sell certain oils that are associated with certain needs um now for example if you're a person that's more of a mind body or soul spiritual person um, there's different oils and if you're a person that's more into like um, hoodoo or like magic so to speak there's different oils in certain places um, but a one oil that's been working very good for me that I actually really like is an oil that has to do with um, 
it's called the crown of success okay now this oil is um is, it's very inexpensive i'm in canada so sometimes things are a little bit hard to find but regardless of what the most i pay is like eight dollars for like a tincture like about this big and this is like actual size i'm hoping this is when it comes on a big screen it it works out but it's about this size and you can use that for an array of different uses uh for myself i like to usually use like like them on candles because candles especially the flame represent um the light which is the higher light of god the higher power and i find that you know candles work a little bit better for me so um i usually what i like to do is i like to inscribe my um inscribe my uh sorry it's taking me time to think about this um inscribe my um intention on the candle and through that i will put that oil on it and manifest that into my space now if that's something that you're not necessarily comfortable with something that i like to use as well is taking a little bit of olive oil uh cinnamon and now i usually like to use a powder cinnamon because you know like filing it down if you were to get the cinnamon sticks can be a little bit tedious so i get cinnamon powder and some brown sugar and i used to like to use i usually like to use a crystallized one not the one that's too refined and through that that's what you use to scrub your skin and uh through the through using those oils and that make sure will actually attract money abundance towards you um, so those are two different ways that you can use money abundance. I like the crown of success because considering it has the necessary ingredients in it in order to do the job. But um, I using a scrub is also something that's really good as well. You can you know, use that depending on how you feel. Um, one um, prayer. Now this is for people that are are strictly about prayer that only feel like they want certain prayers in order to manifest what they desire. I like to use the Psalms 20. And when I say Psalm 20, I say Psalms 23 times, and I say verse 5, which is, I say that five times. So verse 5, I believe, is, we'll rejoice in the salvation, in the name of God, we'll set up our banners, may the Lord answer your request. It all depends if you use, use the King, King James, the NIV, or whatever version of the Bible that you use, but verse 5 should be repeated um, five times and the whole verse itself should be repeated three times whatever you feel works for you I like to make spirit lead the way when it comes to stuff like that then you do that um, so another thing that um, I'm going to touch on is also vision boards um, vision boards I feel have been very effective for me um, a personal example is I remember starting of last year I wanted um, an iPhone and uh, I think it was just pretty much an iPhone. Pretty much I said I want enough iPhone and whatever it is that I'm looking for, I want it to be efficient to the things that I use. So whether it be social media, um, well, social media on a whole, and just more efficient when it comes to using different, like email, things like that. Just, I just wanted an up to grade or up to par phone. Um, so at that point, the starting of the year, um, cause if anyone knows me, I don't believe in contracts. I like to do, I like to pay things up front and just use it for whenever I need to use it. I don't like to, the monthly bills. I don't like that. I'm a person, if a monthly bill comes to me, I'll pay the whole thing out before even going on a monthly. I just, it just doesn't work for me and I don't know how you are, but that's just me. So the phone that I, or the app, the product that I wanted, I know everything had to be bought flat out because of how I wanted my payments to be. And it could be very expensive, like an iPhone, just paying for it right out is like $900, like upfront. So uh, I put that out in the universe and $900 wasn't something that I want to spend. Like, I just think that's absolutely ridiculous. It's a phone, it's a form of entertainment. It's not food for me to survive. It's not f money that I could be putting into my business. It's not, right? It's just not efficient enough for me to spend that kind of money. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not. Excuse my language. Um, so I manifested it. And I remember last year, I got my phone. And when I got my phone, it happens. It so happened when I got my phone, it was like 
the person that we got the phone from or I got the phone from was there was like a really good connection um, and he just wanted to get rid of the phone like he didn't even care how much you got for it like he just wanted to get rid of it and I got the phone that way um, then all of a sudden I wanted it was an iPad I got out of nowhere and I got an iPad from a client that was absolutely free to just wanted to give it to me because they were just so pleased with the reading and they gave it to me and um, the next thing I needed, like an, I think it was the next Apple product that I needed to work out with. And it just appeared to, like it manifested as well. There was another person, no, it was another person where they were like, okay, well you want this? Like I have it, here you go. And before you knew it, like I had a bunch of Apple products in my house where I swear to God that I probably paid, if I were to collectively put all the prices together, 154, and I had at least five different devices. Um, so that what it, that comes to manifestation. It comes back to manifestation. It's because I put it out in the universe. That's what I need. That's what I want. I feel like it's going to be efficient for my business. It'd be efficient for whatever I don't know everyday use that I need. So I said, hey, this is what I want, and I got it. Okay. Um, so vision boards, um, I'll say vision board. I usually liked when I make vision boards, I just typically go to the dollar store and I buy a Bristol board associated with the color that, or uh, color of the energy that I'm trying to manifest. So if it's money, um, I would get a green Bristol board. If it's love, I would get a pink Bristol board. If it was blue, for protection, I'll get that. If it's purple, if it has to do with spiritual stuff and manifesting spiritual abilities, I would get that. So I got um, a green Bristol board and on the green Bristol board, I put a number of different things that I wanna manifest in this year. So if it was money, if I found a picture when it comes to money, I'll put it on that board. If it had to do with a uh, genie box, I put it on that board. When I say genie box, I mean, genie boxes for me are usually like wishes that I choose to manifest on, I guess, a miraculous form. Because I don't like to doubt things. So anything that I feel where I have a little bit of doubt, I put those desires and I send the energy to that box. So that it's kind of like the wild card. You know, depending on what step I step on, that I step on that move, I can manifest that. But that's like, if you get the idea, <laughs> that's exactly where I go with that box. And I make a manifestation board. And, and it could be anything. Just make the, make sure that everything that you use to manifest it, what you desire, means something to you. And through that meaning something to you, maybe you can have a legend, so to speak, at the bottom that says pink is for, like, love. Purple is for, like, uh, royalty or, I don't know, white is for purity and green is for money. You know what I mean? But like there's a legend at the bottom and through every energy and every color that you go through, you can send a certain energy through it on this vision board. Uh, vision boards are something that um, have, of course, if anyone's familiar with the secret has been touched based on the secret, that's something that you can actually look into as well. So I feel like I'm rambling, but okay. So there's that. Okay, visualization. Okay, so we're all familiar with daydreaming and a lot of times we associate daydreaming with a little escape or a visionary space escape sorry there was a text message that came that kind of threw me off but like a visionary escape where it's not something that can be a reality but let's start thinking about things that are a reality um, I'll usually, for me, I like to take at least an hour of the day. I like to do it mainly when I get up or if not, like around the evening time, it all depends. But I like to take an hour of my day, um, to chant, pray, and go through creative visualization. What the heck is that? There's a lot going on in this room. But anyways, um, yeah. So when it comes to visualization, I take that time to do that. So visualization is visualizing exactly the things that you desire. So let's go by scenario to scenario. Because I find when you kind of tighten that visualization, it, it, it allows the manifestation to be a lot more powerful. So say, for example, there's Jane. Jane wants to get a job in the technical support department. I'm just using that, I don't know. I don't know what your desires are, but hey, we'll go with that. 
So she wants to get hired in the technical support department. And what I was, I would suggest as a visualization, visualization, visualization is Jane picturing herself in a perfect spot or a perfect seat where she wants to sit in that technical support department. So I would take that time to actually visualize, see yourself in a seat, start to visualize your day to day basis, how things will go, uh, what you would do that day, um, certain tasks that you would think of that you would think would be hard, but you want to master in that role. But that's something that you would do. Um, so that's like that's what has to come with visualization. Visualization is a very strong point of manifestation. Um, if you can't see yourself doing it, then it can't be done. It's like the saying that goes, seeing is believing. You know what I mean? Um, so that's one. A next one that I have, um, and this comes, and this is whatever you are comfortable with. Um, there's certain cards that are associated with this, but I'll think I'll use this as a close that something is a very strong point for me and where I acquire it to be is the Magician Tarot card. Now, if you were to look up the meanings of the Magician Tarot card, um, let me just uh, put this in here. Okay, I have to put in the password. I'll just remember it by heart because I'm just not going to sit here this whole time. Like I said, it's raw footage, so I'm not going to sit here forever trying to open up my tablet just to show you that. Um, but the, the Magician Tarot card has to do with, um, again, manifestation. Um, the magic, as you can see, if you were to look in the Rider Rate deck, uh, the magician has one hand pointing to the floor and one hand pointing above, which means what's above, so below. As above, so below. So meaning what you, you reap, what you sow, whatever you put in, you will get back. Okay. Um, another thing on the magician, a magician is a person that is purely out of manifestation, whether it comes to visual manifestation, when it comes to prayer, whether it comes to magic itself, that's what the magician actually represents. So that is a strong point for this year. And the reason why is because if you look at the magician on the right of weight deck, there's a figure weight above his head. And that's, so when I see that card and what it means to me is that this person has a strong belief of what goes up must go down. What I put in is what I will get out. Okay. And that is like the key to manifestation. So, um, with that being said, that is, the uh, ma the magician card. Now, if you feel comfortable with actually using magician card, if you're not comfortable necessarily with using decks, one thing you could do is if you were to light, if you have an area in your home where you usually pray or whatever the case, maybe you can light a candle and through lighting a candle, maybe on the wall or in a frame or whatever form where you feel that that card can always be there or the symbolism of that card, you would put that there in that you will draw in the energy of the magician, which the magician manifests all your desires. Um, so uh, that's something that I use or I admire that card. I feel like for every energy I respected of things that I want to acquire in my own personality and aspirations that I may have. Um, so that's the number of things that I feel or tools you can use when it comes to manifestation in 2015, which is the first one, Bernardo Beats. Bernal Beats is amazing because you can honestly listen to them virtually doing anything. It's like almost like you get into a trance listening to them. Like I could be cleaning around the house listening to Bernal Beats. I could be doing work and listening to Bernal Beats. Um, uh, next thing is oils. Oh, oils is another thing if depending on the mood phase, or whenever you feel comfortable or in your prayer mode, um, you can use necessary oils when it comes to candle burning or even using them on yourself. That's something that could be great. Uh, vision boards. Vision boards. I love to use vision boards because, of course, that gives me a chance uh, when I find, I guess, I'm slipping on my manifestation or I want to think about something positive. I just look at my board that I made and keep focus on the things that I desire rather than the things that I don't want in my life. Um, next thing is visualization. Just take a time to yourself. Like meditation is pretty much breathing through your nose and out through your mouth. Bringing in the positivity, releasing the negativity. Okay, and through that, you could be using your visualization, um, things that you want to visualize and bring into your life. 
Uh, last thing is the Magician Tarot card. I feel like usually the drug energy occurs when you focus on it. So take time uh, for yourself. And I understand prayer or meditation could be hard for some people, but you understand it's for you. This is for your body. This is how your body functions. This is how you're at your optimal best. There's nothing better than taking care of yourself. And manifestation it has a strong point to do with that. So the Magician Tarot card and bringing in the energy of that. So this, I'm sorry if it's a little bit long for two pe for people, but this is like raw footage. I haven't edited. I haven't done nothing. I just wanted to go on a ramble of topics that I was going to touch base on in the meeting. I hope this serves you well. You know where to find me. You can find me at www.facebook.com forward slash House of Stars. House of Stars, H-O-U-S-E. O F S T A R R E S. If you want more information on what I do and um, the services that House of Stars provides, everyone that have watched this and may be more familiar with what I do, you know where to find me on Facebook. I love to hear testimonies. I love to hear when things that I suggest uh, that I use work. So you know where to hit me up or where to find me. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter, which is at T R E. S T A R R E capital S T A E no sorry S T A R R E which is Trey Star Bell which means three star beauty on Twitter I'm gonna put all the links below of where you can find me if you want to get a private reading on what's yet to come or any advice you know where to find me you can always always get me through House of Stars or for those who are familiar with me and have different ways of contacting me you can um, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or concerns, like feel free to put them in the comment box. Um, and I will answer any of your questions that you may have. Um, and I hope that I that you guys have all have like a prosperous 2015. This is a year to make dreams come true. And I hope it comes to you. And I can't wait to hear all the stories. Um, so I want to thank you so much. May God bless you and the angels protect you. Bye.